Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's an Orma and day again. We're out with Glorious and Johnny. We're gonna go find some Ormas and Lobsters. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We're here nice and early on the tide today. So we're just gonna slowly walk down with the tide, lifting any stones we see. And around here, it's good for lobsters, so fingers crossed, we can get a nice lobster out of it. First Orma of the day. Yeah, look at that. That's a beauty of an Orma. See if there's any more. That's why it's always worth running your hands under the rocks, baby. Lovely Orma. Nice purples on that one. And that one's in by an absolute mile. Beauty. We're off to a good start. We haven't been here long. And there's another one on that rock. He's only on loose lift. That one's a bit small. Lovely colours though. Really pretty today, the Ormers. It's another one down. Very nice. And all I'm doing, I'm lifting the really small stones at the moment because there's not a lot to lift. I'm going to try this big one. There's an Ormer. But I think that one's going to be too small. Oh no, that one's in. Beauty. That one's in. Found a nice little pile of stones here that haven't been turned. Ooh. Little one. Lovely to see all the wildlife. That's what I love about all though. Run my hands under the rocks. I like to run my hands right around the sides. Because uh, often the almonds will just be sitting on the side of the rock. <laughs> nope, that one's out. Put it back nice and carefully. Ready for another day. Biggest one of the day. That's a beauty right there. Nice chunky Orma. In the bag she goes. I have three Ormas then. Just literally put my hand on the one rock. <laughs> it's mad. Another good place to find Ormas is right in these cracks of the rocks. It's called Cricken. There you go along, just looking in the cracks. And often you'll find a lot bigger Ormas doing that. There's a lobster here, guys. I don't think it's going to be legal though. I could, I could feel him fighting in the back of the hole, but that's definitely not big enough. I'm not even going to bother measuring him. Nice to see a Larry though. Hopefully, get some bigger ones. Another one down. The tide hasn't gone out very quick yet. There's lobster holes all around here that I need to get to. <laughs> so I'm just hanging around a bit, lifting up some stones. a lobster in here guys check this out see if we can get him to walk out nice and gently got it oh look at that it's got eggs that's a pregnant female that that's a keeper though but it's a shame it's got eggs look at that loads of eggs in that oh well can't keep it it's nice to see those lobsters around Happy days. See you later, buddy. Nice little lobster. <laughs> little female. There's loads of top knots this year, eh? They're everywhere. Look at that. That was two under one rock. Lovely job. That's what you want to see.
bit warm on that. I hope you can see this guys. I hope you can see this. I can see a giant lobster claw just in there. And you can see his little antennae just sticking. See his antennae just here? I can see his claw, it's a big lobster. I'm hoping it's not a female, and I'm hoping it's hard. That's a massive lobster. <laughs> wow. This is a very big lobster. This is... <laughs> I'm just trying to ease him out because I don't want to, I don't know if it's soft or not, so you always want to take your time. He's got my hook. This is massive. I'm trying to hold myself in because I know what's coming. It's huge. There's his tail. Oh, here he comes. Ah. Nope, that's the female. This isn't, the, there's two lobsters in this hole. There's one. <laughs> I can't believe this. The other one's huge. It's a male. I've never seen, I've never found two lobsters like this, a male and a female in the same hole like this. I don't think I have anyway. Come on, big boy. Alex, there's a female lobster in this hole and there's a monster male in the same one. I can't get it out. Have you got a hook? Can I borrow it? Because he's got my hook and I don't want to pull his claw off. This is massive. I've seen his claw. I don't know what the body looks like. I've just pulled a feet. I keep a female out there as well. Can you get some? Look at that. <laughs> In the same hole as well, guys. That's a buster. I've never seen that though. A female and a male. That's crazy, eh? Check that out. <laughs> I'm gonna let that female go. Do you want it for a feed? You're not gonna take it off. Yeah, yeah, you can have that one, mate. This one's going in the bag. Oh yeah. That's a buster. <laughs> Thanks for letting me use your hook, mate. There you go. Happy days. Oh, nice one. I did those rocks just there. Oh, was it? Literally gone past it. Uh, this hole, usually it's covered by weed. People don't see it. Oh, but it's, it's usually good for a lobster, but that's the biggest one I've found for a while. Yeah. That's got to be three pound, eh? Yeah. Nice. Solid as well. That there is probably one of the biggest lobsters I've ever foraged. Look at the size of that. When I seen the claw, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big and it's absolutely solid as well. It's got a few barnacles on it. That is going in the cook pot. That's a prime male lobster. Tell by the swimmerettes here when they're hard. It's a male. When they're soft and flimsy, it's a female. Also, the males have got a slimmer tail and bigger claws. Look at that. What a beauty. I'm in shock that we even found that. Look at the claw. It's bigger than my hand. All right. Let's bam this beast up. And hopefully, we can find some more. Thing you want is a lobster getting you in in the backside. But that there, I'm in shock of how big that lobster is. That's easily up there with one of the biggest lobsters I've ever found, if not the biggest. That is a beauty. Check this one out, guys. It is like jelly. That is freshly malted. I don't want to put any pressure on that, so what I'm gonna do is chuck them straight in the hole and it'd be nice and safe, make sure it doesn't get crushed. Look at those pretty ormers. They are everywhere. everywhere. I'm getting loads out here.
small family of almost there. There's three on that rock. One right here. Got a little sea lemon. Quite a few. Nice one, just sitting in the crack of the rock here. It's a nice one. Beauty. You often find if you can't find many stones to lift, just uh, look in the cracks. What an absolutely stunning day to go warm in. Middle of winter and it's nice and warm. Not much wind. Wind's almost variable. You can see there is people everywhere collecting almonds. <laughs> we haven't got long of the tide left now, so I'm gonna go look around for some lobsters and uh, see if we can pick up a few more almonds. I'm home for a cook up. Working my way back up the beach now. We've got a serious bag full. So what I'm gonna do is stop somewhere so I can measure my catch. And then we're home for a cook up. I'm gonna see if I can find any almonds on the way up. <laughs> Back in the kitchen now guys, what a lovely forage today was, we had light winds, nice sunshine and the big lobsters were out to play. I've brought out the big tub because this was one of the biggest ones I had and the lobster doesn't fit. It's so thick along the back, lovely sized lobster. So yeah we're going to break out, we're going to break out the big tub, I'm going to boil some kettles, get this boiling and we'll get it cooked up. So what I'm doing guys, I'm going to fill it up so I can just cover the lobster, get it to a rolling boil, bit of sea salt in there, or quite a lot if you wanted to, and then we'll boil it up. Lobster's been dispatched now. What I do is there's a cross on the top of the head here that you can see. If you put the knife facing this way, go straight down and out towards the head. This will kill it. And then there's no splashing around when you put it in the boiling water. That's exactly how you want it looking, guys. That's a rolling boil. This is a huge pot and this thing's taken up a lot of space. <laughs> Get the lid on, which is my chopping board. And we're good to go. And I'll, I'll give a big lobster like this, probably a 10 minute boil. Got some pasta here guys. And because this water is gonna taste like lobster, I'm just gonna pour the pasta in and that can cook in the lobster juices and the water. And then we'll add some lobster to it after. So there we go guys. That's one giant lobster ready to be munched. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm even going to save this claw for Smash. He's with me today. And I'm having the big claw in the tail. So with our sauce guys, I've got some olive oil in the pan, I've got half a teaspoon of garlic, I've got some red chilli with the seeds because I want this quite spicy, spicy lobster pasta. So uh, what we're going to do is fry up some onions and that's pretty much it. Salt, pepper, a few little seasonings of your choice and you've got a nice little pasta sauce to coat it nicely and give it loads of flavour with the lobster.
solid. A lump of meat right there. Oh. That right there, Smash, is one hell of a piece of lobster. The size of that. Get down. So, with this meat, guys, I'm going to rip it all apart now. You can see how tender this lobster is. It's just falling apart. Lovely bits of meat. I'm just going to break it into nice little pieces like this. Get it in the pasta. And I'm going to save this big chunk for my boy Smash. a big old bowl of lobster right there that is by far one of the most thickest lobsters I've seen look how thick that shell is that was solid so our onions and our chili and all of our lovely flavors are ready now all I'm gonna do is just start putting my pasta straight into here and we'll be good to go Get that all turned over nicely. You see all that olive oil coats it. And then for the last final piece of our delicious little puzzle, it's just tons of lobster. No messing. And if in doubt, put all the lobster in. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is get this all mixed up and this little bundle of flavor is gonna be good. Oh yeah, check this out guys, beautiful lobster pasta, there is so much lobster in this, it's unbelievable, so check that out, I'm going to save that for some family members, and that there is going in my tummy. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Look at that. All of the lobster hanging out the pasta. And we've got a big old claw in for Smash as well. He's my friend, so he deserves a piece of lobster. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Just enough spice in there. If anything, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably put a little bit more, but it's got a nice little kick to it. As soon as you have a bite, you know about it. That's what you want. Nice spicy lobster pasta with some garlic. Oh, what a trip though. Lovely sized lobster. I think, leave it in the comments if you think that's my biggest lobster I've foraged on the channel yet. It's not the biggest lobster I've ever caught, but it's definitely one of the biggest ones I've ever filmed. That's for sure. Mm. Yes, good boy. High five, good boy. Spin, lay down, good boy. Nice, it's good lobster, eh bud? I could probably eat this every day of the week. It was nice to get out with him glorious as well. And we had Johnny coming along on his first ever ormond trip as well. He managed to find a couple, which is handy. I'm sure he'll be out again. It's good fun, uh, ormond. So it's a serious workout though, lifting boulders for three hours straight, non-stop as well. Yum. So stay tuned for the next episode guys, I'll leave the video there. Smashy boy can have his big piece. Wait.
Spin. 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 Good. Up. Hey. It's good. Mmm. Do you want any merch guys? Links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. It's my fishing, baby. Woo!